All right, so it's been about one month since Joe Biden has been elected president of the United States officially. He signed a slew of executive orders within the first week, and you would think that's about it, but it's not. Fast forward to Friday of last week, and news breaks that we bombed Syria. We actually bombed Syria. So now, depending on the news you're reading and watching, you're going to read articles that might sound like this. Joe Biden sends warning shot to Iran and Syria. Joe Biden shows his strength in in Middle East. Joe Biden conquers, blah, blah, blah. So now what did happen? On Friday, the U.S. sent two jet fighters to basically fly over Syria and bomb Iranian military bases on the basis that they had intel that they were smuggling weapons through these Iranian military bases. Now, the problem with this is that this dude did not consult Congress or even his vice president. Reports are coming out that, that Kamala Harris had no idea what was even going on. And he just decided to make a call to the Pentagon and go, hey, go bomb Syria. I don't like what they're doing. Go bomb Syria. So in the Constitution of the United States, the president can act as a defensive measure to bomb other countries or to attack. But if it's to go on the offense, then he has to consult Congress or it's an illegal action. Now, what we know about this event is that it's a complete illegal action because this dude's basically basing it off of intel that he had that something was about to happen but didn't happen. Um, they had no idea if those weapons were actually going to be used on Americans or who they're going to be used on. So this guy sends two jet fighters to go bomb Syria and the casualties are at about 22 now and we don't know if this is strictly Iranian military deaths or civilians or mixed. We have no idea. So right now, Joe Biden's getting ripped apart by progressives on the left and conservatives. The only people that aren't ripping apart are the center-left um, MSNBC, CNN, um, corporate Democrats, neoliberals, all of these people that will just bow down to Joe Biden, bow down to the Democratic Party no matter what happens. So that's the state we're in now. So now this leads to the question, why would Joe Biden want to bomb Iran in Syria? Iran and Syria are extremely tight allies. They have been for a while. So by bombing Iran in Syria, Syria comes out now and they, they just release a statement. They're pissed. They think that the U.S. is meddling in their country. Iran is obviously fuming. This guy is trying to start a war. This guy wants to go into the Middle East. He wants to go into Syria and drain them of oil. Just like they did with other countries, just like they did with Afghanistan, just like they did with Iraq. They want to go there. They want to start another endless war where thousands of American soldiers are going to lose their life so we can get some oil. So if a war breaks out in the Middle East, in Syria, every soldier that dies is on this dude's hands. Because right now, this guy has a fucking F- minus as a president. When midterms come, this is something that's going to be brought up a lot. That this guy bombed, illegally bombed the country within his first month. The midterm was already looking extremely red because of all the Republicans taking House seats and winning random places in California and in liberal strongholds. So we're going to see... What happens, we're obviously going to be there giving our opinions on it. Um, I'm sure that in the next podcast we do, which is going to be episode 20, um, we're going to go probably way more in depth in what's going on with this guy. Because this guy needs to be held accountable, just like Trump was held accountable. When he illegally bombs other countries and tries to throw us into war, he has to be held accountable. And the news isn't going to hold, us, hold him accountable. So thankfully we have independent media holding him accountable and some conservatives on the right. Understand this, people on the right also like to go into war and take fucking oil. So this isn't just a Democrat thing. It's just Democrats are more open about it.